What causes people to be in dilemma? What causes people to be at crossroads? When they begin to go against the former instructions of God. That's why I want to tell you. Maintain a fast yako ya kwanza ilio kuleta hapa. Tunza, you have to maintain your position. The first prophecy I give to you. The prophecy I give to you. The first prayer I pray for you. Yale maombi ndio kupa mara ya kwanza. It has a solution in your life forever. Yale ndio ma solution. If you forget that, ukisahau lile, you will never reach anywhere. Uwezi kufika popote. You will find yourself in dilemma. Utajikuta nje ya panda. Just have a seat. Sababu ya pili second reason you know, so I I that causes people to be dilemma when they want to go against the formal instructions from God Hello, look at me when you start feeling like you want to leave the first instructions of God no for sure you have made decisions the first instruction given to Peter you will fish men Utavua watu and not fish. Nasio samaki. Follow me. Nifuate. We see the first preaching of this man. Una angalia huduma ya kwanza ya Peter. He preached. Alihubiri. And the people. Na watu. Were converted. Waliokoka. The first call. Uktumu wa kwanza. The first instruction. Witu wa kwanza. Melekezo ya kwanza. The first direction. Melekezo ya kwanza. Is so important to the kingdom of God. Ni muhimu sana katika ufalme wa mbingu. Mungu anaheshimu sana maelekezo anayokupa ya kwanza. God so respect his first instructions. When you go against that instruction. Unapokwenda kinyume na maelekezo ya kwanza ya kimungu. That means you decide yourself. Ndio kwamba umeamua wewe mwenyewe to be dilemma. Kujiweka katika njia panda. Yesu anamuita Mungu asubuhi mpaka usiku mzima. Jesus calls God the whole night. And the Bible says. Na Biblia inasema the heaven was quiet mbingu ilikuwa kimya this is a problem of many prayer warriors na ndio tatizo la uumbaji wengi maintain the first instruction tunza maelekezo ya mbingu ya kwanza listen maintain the first instruction tunza maelekezo ya mbingu ya kwanza chochote mungu alichowahi kukuambia whatever god ever told you before physical kupitia watumishi wake through his ministers physical moja kwa moja kupitia chochote through whatever means keep that words tunza yale maneno it carry your future tunza yale maelekezo it carry your future because they carry your future ndio mustakabali wako listen ndio hatima ya maisha yako aliita sana he called the whole night long and the heaven was na mbingu ilikuwa kimya mungu anamwambia sikiliza and god told him listen no way you can save these people Uwezi ukaokoa watu hawa out of the cross nje ya njia ya msalaba kuna msalaba uwezi kukataa kama bwana amesema utaupita and you cannot deny the cross if god said you have to carry the cross and that is maturity na ndio kupevuka kiroho that is maturity ndio kupevuka kiroho kuna vitu hata kama vinauma namna gani no matter how bitter some things are if god decide you will pass this way lakini mungu akisema kwamba utapitia njia hiyo you need to pass it lazima upitie no matter how they speak about you Haijalishi tunazungumza vipi na wewe No matter how they prophesy about your future Haijalishi namna gani wanatoa unabii juu ya maisha yako ya baadaye How they prophesy about your marriage Haijalishi namna gani watu wanatoa unabii juu ya ndoa yako But remember the first call Lakini kumbuka ule utume wa kwanza The first instruction Yale maelekezo ya mbingu ya kwanza Matter a lot Inajalisha sana katika maisha yako Spiritual ya kiroho Mbingu ilikuwa kimya Heavens Kimia. quiet Badai. later Adam Salabani, the heaven was quiet even at the cross heaven was quiet analia eloi eloi and was there crying eloi eloi lama sabaki dama sabaktani mungu wangu mungu wangu my god my god bona why Umeniaji. have you forsaken me Manini. why the first instruction maelekezo ya mbingu ya kwanza is so important ni ya muhimu sana in the of God. Katika ufalme wa mbingu. You cannot change it. Uwezi kuyabadili. If you want to change it, make sure that you understand some principles. Ukitaka kuyabadili, hakikisha kwamba unajua kanuni fulani. And you have to make sure that you have that kind of faith. Lazima uhakikishe kwamba una imani ya mtindo huu. Just to change the first instruction. Ili kuweza kubadilisha maelekezo ya mbingu ya kwanza. Out of that 
nje hapo utajikuta in a dilemma kwenye njia pande